Mein Name ist Peter Stückrath. My name is Peter Stückrath from Scheu Dental Company. And I'm leading you through this video training on the topic Fabrication of an Individual Sports Mouth Guard. This training is aimed at all those who want to fabricate a sports mouth guard on their own. We'll be working with the material Bioplast. Bioplast consists of high-quality EVA material which is characterized by excellent shock-absorbing properties and superior elasticity. The material Bioplast Extreme combines different degrees of hardness, which means an additional protection for the sensitive anterior region. Before we begin, I would like to refer briefly to the technical equipment and materials that are required for fabrication. Biostar or Ministar S pressure molding units, materials of the Bioplast product family, Bioplast insulating agent to insulate the plaster model before thermoforming, heating support for heating up the occlusal surface, Bioperm trimmer, Dymo Pro wheel to smooth the trims, Osamu polisher for polishing, Polyfix disc to expose the frenulum, SD foil scissors A and B, Citron spray serving as a release agent for the frontal reinforcement made of Duran, a pellet cover, and additionally a damp cloth to cover the areas that are not to be heated during occlusal heating up. A few words about the basic model preparation. The models must be trimmed flat. For easier repositioning, you can grind in a marking, for example a cross, centrally under the models using a burr. Grease the model bottom, applying a thin layer of Vaseline. Now you can mount the models into a fixator using the recommended construction bite. A tip, the vertical opening in the posterior region should be at least 50% of the used material thickness. In the first working step, mark the extension of your future mouth guard and apply Bioplast insulating agent to the marked area. When you apply the insulating agent, there should be no puddles in the recesses, and the applied insulation should not dry out before thermoforming. Embed the model with the base area into the pellets. Make sure the model front faces towards the pressure chamber. Place the pellet cover around the embedded model to minimize the loss of pellets. Now enter the heating time. You can just scan it with a barcode or enter it manually. If you're using a bioplastic stream with a translucent reinforcement, it is important that the material is properly fixed in the pressure chamber. Place the material on the embedded model in the final alignment first and then flip it by 180 degrees and fix it into the pressure chamber. The material is correctly fixed if the imprint is legible. Once the heating time is entered, swivel the heater directly above the fixed foil. Visual and audible signals indicate the end of the heating process. Now you can swivel back the heater and flip the pressure chamber by 180 degrees toward the right over the model. Lock the pressure chamber to initiate the cooling phase. Visual and audible signals indicate the end of the cooling process. Press the button AIR to evacuate the pressure chamber. Now open the locking shaft. You can now open the pressure chamber and remove the model. You have the option to fabricate a sports mouth guard consisting of one or more layers. 
If you choose the one layer mouth guard, you should prepare the occlusal impression here. Leave the mold on the model and cut it coarsely along the model rim. If you are fabricating a multi-layer mouthguard, this procedure refers to the last thermoforming process. The anterior reinforcement provides additional protection against frontal impacts. Thanks to this insert, the effective forces are extensively distributed over the complete anterior region. Please proceed as follows to guarantee the correct incorporation of this insert. After model preparation, as described, thermoform the first bioplast and cut it out coarsely along the model rim. Spray on Citron spray or silicone spray to the anterior region. Now embed the model as deep as possible into the pellets. Only the front should still be visible. Thermoform a Duran 0.75 mm. Now, define the length of the Duran frontal reinforcement by marking it with a permanent marker. This is to ensure the bioplast will completely cover the Duran reinforcement during the lamination process that will follow later on. You should use a bioplast of at least 2 mm thickness. Now you can reduce the thermoformed Duran material following the marking you made. Any traces of the marking can be easily removed with Citron spray. Here, you should check the extension of the reinforcement relating to the impression of the counterbite and adapt if necessary. In preparation for the laminating process, pierce small holes into the recesses and clean and degrease the material and the reinforcement. Embed the model into the pellets. Don't forget to use the pellet cover and laminate the clear bioplast material as already described in the laminating technique. Flip the pressure chamber to the right side. To avoid any deformations of the material, place a damp cloth in the palatal and vestibular regions around the model. This is to protect these regions from excessive heat. Press the code button. A menu appears where the heating times for occlusal heating up are listed. Put the model centrally on the heating support and swivel the support over the heater. Generally, the greater the distance from the occlusal surface to heater, the longer the heating time should be. Normally, it should take approximately three minutes. If time is not sufficient, you can repeat the process without any problem. However, if you observe any bubbles due to overheating, interrupt the process at once and continue with the impression. During the heating phase, you have enough time to apply Bioplast insulating agent to the antagonist. Swivel the heater back and remove the model. Remove the damp cloth and place the model back into the articulator or fixator. This process is always the same, no matter how many bioplast layers you already laminated. Cut out the length coarsely using the scissors. You can best finish the rims using the Dymo Pro wheel or the Bioperm trimmer. A tip, 
The exposures of the frenulum can be excellently finished using an elliptically aligned polyfix disc. For a high gloss polishing of the rim, we recommend the Osamu polisher at a speed of maximum 5000 to 10000 RPM. So, we've already reached the end of our training. Please let me mention that the two types of sports mouthguards, Bioplast Extreme and Bioplast Extreme Pro, provide additional safety in the sensitive anterior region thanks to the integrated V-shaped reinforcement. These materials combine two different degrees of hardness. I hope you liked this video. You can find further training videos and news on our Facebook site or on our YouTube channel. So please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like our Facebook page or to visit our website to keep you up to date on any new contents. Thank you very much and please visit us again. Your Peter Stuckart.